दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ फ्रांसिस टर्माइन फ्रेंड्स लेट्स गो थ्रू द प्रॉब्लम ए फ्रांसिस टर्माइन ऑपरेटिंग अंडर अ हेड ऑफ सिक्सटी मीटर रन्स एट फोर ट्वेंटी आर पी एम द आउटर डायमीटर इज जीरो पॉइंट नाइन मीटर एंड द इनर डायमीटर इज जीरो पॉइंट फोर फाइव मीटर इफ द डिस्चार्ज इज रेडियल डिटरमाइन द वेन एंगल्स एट इनलेट एंड आउटलेट द वेलासिटी ऑफ फ्लो इज कॉन्स्टंट एंड इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व मीटर पर सेकंड दैट मीन्स द वेलासिटी ऑफ फ्लो इज इक्वल एट इनलेट एंड आउटलेट एंड इज ट्वेल्व मीटर पर सेकंड एंड हाइड्रोलिक इफिशियंस इज गिवन Also find the inlet guide in angle, absolute velocity at inlet, and specific speed of turbine if Q is equal to 10 meter cube per second. So now let us go through given. Before that, I'm drawing here a velocity diagram or velocity triangle at inlet and outlet. So this is one of the vein. So this is the one of the vein of the turbine. So this is inlet of turbine. the outer side of the runner is inlet of turbine for transistor turbine so this is the inlet velocity triangle now this is absolute velocity at inlet v1 this is the uh, relative velocity at inlet vr1 this is velocity of flow at inlet vf1 this is velocity of overlay at inlet vw1 and this is peripheral velocity of uh, uh, runner or vane uh, that is u1 now this is the we have given we have given that here the discharge is radial that is beta is 90 degree so vw2 is 0 so this is vr2 this is vf2 that is equal to v2 beta is 90 degree and this is u2 because of discharge is radial there is no overlay velocity at outlet now let us see angles this is the guide vein angle at inlet alpha this is the vein angle at inlet theta and this is the vein angle at outlet phi and this is beta now this is the inlet and outlet velocity triangles for transistor turbine now let us see given head is given h is equal to 60 meter run set n rpm is given 420 rpm the outer diameter is 0.9 meter so outer diameter means diameter at inlet because this is the outer side of the turbine this is inner side so outer diameter is given so uh, don't confuse in this because the outer diameter is nothing but diameter at inlet so d1 is given 0.9 meter and the inner diameter is 0.45 meter so this is the inner side of the runner that means the outlet of the runner so at outlet d2 is equal to 0.45 meter now the discharge is radial so beta is equal to 90 degree that means vw2 is equal to 0 now we have to find to determine the vane angles at inlet and outlet so to find to find i'm writing here to find there are some values in the given are remaining so to find determine the vane angle at inlet and outlet so vane angle is theta and phi so at inlet vane angle is theta at outlet vane angle is phi the velocity of flow is constant and is equal to 12 meter per second the velocity of flow is constant means v of 1 is equal to v of 2 and is given as 12 meter per second and hydraulic efficiency eta h is 80% That is equal to zero point eight. Also find the inlet guide vane angle. That is alpha. This is the inlet guide vane angle alpha. Absolute velocity at inlet. That is v one. This is the absolute velocity at inlet. And specific speed n s. If q is equal to ten meter cube per second. So q discharge is given. Rate of flow is given meter. 10 meter per second 
Now, let us see which formula we require. Which formula we require for solving this problem? So first we have to find theta. So for theta, take this triangle. For this triangle, this is right angle triangle. As it is right angle triangle, so tan theta is equal to v up one divided by this is v w one minus u one. So total v w one minus this u one. So tan theta is equal to v up one divided by v w one minus u one. So v up one is given. V w one we have to find. So how v w one is to be find? So for that. Hydraulic efficiency is given. So hydraulic efficiency eta y is equal to you know v w one u one divided by g into y. So from this equation, hydraulic efficiency is given. G is given. Y is given. U one is not given. So first find out u one. So u one is equal to you know pi d one n divided by sixty. Now we can easily find out v w one. So put a uh, U one automatically U one is find out here, so put all the values you can get theta from here. Now second is phi, that is when angle at outlet. So tan phi, take tan phi here. So tan phi is equal to v up two divided by u two. V up two divided by u two. Again u two is unknown, so u two is equal to D two is given, so pi d two n divided by sixty, so that you can easily find out pi from here. Now third one is guide vane angle at inlet alpha. So take tan alpha. So tan alpha is equal to v up one divided by v w. V up one divided by v w one. So v up one is known, v w one is known, so you can find out alpha. Now fourth one is Absolute velocity at inlet. So v1. So by using Pythagoras theorem, this is a right angle triangle. So by using Pythagoras theorem, you can find out this hypotenuse v1. So v1 square is equal to this v up one square plus this is v w one square. So you can find out v1 from this equation. And last is specific speed. That is n s. So formula for n is n root p divided by y h r s to pi by four. So n in RPM, p in kilowatt, and y h in meter. Now, once this part you can understand once, then the remaining part of the solution is not that much difficult because you have to only put the values and get the answers. So put the values and get the answer. Let us see solution. So first find out the value of u one, then v w one, then this theta. So u one is equal to u one is equal to pi d one n divided by sixty. So pi into d one is given zero point nine. So zero point nine into n is given four twenty divided by sixty. So u one becomes the value of u one becomes nineteen point. Seven nine two meter per second. Then find out V W one from hydraulic efficiency. So eta h is equal to V W one u one divided by G H. So eta h is given zero point eight is equal to V W one unknown into u one nineteen point seven nine two divided by G is nine point eight one into H. Head is given sixty. So these values goes to Numerator. This value goes to denominator. So V W one becomes zero point eight into nine point eight one into sixty. This value goes to uh, will goes to de denominator. So nineteen point seven nine two. So V W one becomes V W one twenty three point seven nine one four meter per second. Now. You have to find theta. So tan theta is equal to v up one divided by v w one minus u one. So v up one is given twelve divided by v w one twenty three point seven nine one four 
minus u1 19.792 so tan theta this value becomes tan theta is equal to 3 so theta is equal to nothing but tan inverse of 3 that is 71.71.567 degree so this is the answer for theta now let us find out phi now second one is drawing here line now second one is phi so you have to find phi so for that tan phi is equal to tan phi is equal to v of 2 divided by u2 so v of 2 is known 12 divided by you have to find u2 first so find out u2 first so i am finding u2 here so u2 is equal to pi d2 n divided by 60 so pi into d2 0 0.45 divided by into n 420 divided by 60 so u2 becomes u2 the value of u2 becomes 9.896 9.896 meter per second so put the values here uh, 9.896 so tan phi becomes tan phi is equal to 1.2126 so phi is equal to tan inverse of 1.2126 so phi becomes 50.488 degree so this is the value of phi now third one is third one is the value of alpha so for that use this equation tan alpha so tan alpha is equal to v of 1 divided by vw1 now v of 1 is known 12 divided by vw1 is known 23.7914 so the value of tan alpha is equal to tan alpha becomes 0 0.5043 so the alpha is equal to tan inverse 0.5043 so alpha becomes 26.2676 degree so this is the value of alpha now fourth one is absolute velocity at inlet so for that use pythagoras theorem v1 square is equal to v of 1 square plus vw1 square now v1 square is equal to v of 1 is given 12 square plus vw1 we know 23.7914 square so that v1 square becomes 710.03 so v1 is equal to take a root of this so 26.6464 meter per second this is the value of absolute velocity at entrance or inlet now fifth one is specific speed so specific speed so we know the formula of specific speed ns is equal to n root p divided by h raise to 5 by 4 so n is given 420 now power is not given so how to find power so let us see how to find power so for power p is equal to rho q vw1 u one so this is the formula of power so first find out power so p is equal to rho into q rho q v w1 u1 so rho for water is 1000 q is given 10 10 meter cube per second into v w1 we know v w1 is 23.7914 into u1 we know u1 is 19.792 so the power is equal to power becomes 4.70 4.7087 into 10 raised to 6 watt so convert it into kilowatt because we require the value of power in kilowatt so divided by uh, divided by 1000 so that 4708.7 kilowatt is the powering kilowatt now 
put the values in this equation of specific speed so ns is equal to n n root p divided by h raised to 5 by 4 so n is 420 into p in kilowatt is 4708.7 divided by h is 60 raised to 5 by 4 so ns becomes ns is equal to 172.172.58 so this is the value of ns so this is the method to solve uh, the problem based on Francis turbine